Uh, fall times is a great time for pastas, comfortable pastas, but in the squash, Italian sausage, sage, fresh herbs, cream based, orchietti, um, which orchietti pasta is, which means little ears in Italian. So today we're gonna do, this is the pasta that we're gonna do. Um, first things first, of course, we gotta drop our orchietti. So we're gonna cook this for eight minutes. Normal pasta takes 10 minutes. Before we do that, let's make sure our pasta season religiously with, uh, with salt. So I like to bring the water up to a boil, then add the salt. It allows the water to really become seasoned, penetrated with uh, fresh flavor. Then once that comes up again, we're gonna add the, uh-oh. Uh -oh. That's gonna add the, the pasta. So the reason we're gonna cook it for eight minutes is because we're gonna finish it another two minutes with the uh, with the pasta dish. So first we're gonna add olive oil. Then we'll add our Italian sausage. Move it around, just break it up. I like to break it up with a wooden spoon or sometimes I'll break it up with a whisk just so it is, um, so there's meat throughout the pasta. Turn it up a little bit. So we'll cook this for a couple minutes. We brown on all sides. That's where we'll start adding the uh, butternut squash. So it's all cooked through. So you can see it's start, it start to break it up. So sausages, it doesn't necessarily have to be Italian sausage. It can be some of your favorite sausage. You can use andouille sausage if you want. Use the brat, bratwurst, so you can use the smoked sausage. So it's, it's a person, personal preference on which sausages that you want to use for the, the pasta dish. But since we're using uh, Italian, I love those flavors of fennel, anise. That's that's grain in the, the pasta. A lot of garlic and, and so forth. Next, we're gonna have to burn the squash. Season that with salt and pepper. While that's cooking, we're gonna slice one small onion. I'm sorry, dice one small onion. You can slice it as well if you like, but today um, I'm just gonna dice it. One small onion is perfect, um, preferable. If it's too large, you should use the other uh, half or something else. Turn this down a little bit. Make sure to get my pasta stir. So we'll come back. Onion stir. Next, we're going to add one tablespoon of garlic. We're going to add one bay leaf. And roughly one tablespoon of fresh sage that we're going to roughly chop.
after this cooks for a minute or two, we're gonna deglaze it with half a cup of white wine. Let that reduce by half. Then we're gonna add, after this reduces by half, we're gonna add one, one cup of cream. and half a cup of chicken broth. Season that with salt and pepper. Oops, turn the fire up. Let's let this cook for a minute while the pasta cooks. Get some fresh herbs like such as parsley chopped up for just kind of finish the, finish the pasta. You just use the, you're gonna use the Italian leaf. Do a nice, nice rough chop on this as well. Stems are okay. There's flavor in stems. Um, so I don't mind using stems in my pasta dishes. So we're gonna reduce the pasta by half, then finish it with um, a couple of tablespoons of butter, then add the pasta and be ready to finish the dish. Go to taste for teeth seasoning adjustment, see where I'm at. Mm. Nicely salted, nicely seasoned. Just allowing it to reduce. Next we're gonna add the juice of one lemon. half a cup of Parmesan cheese. Let's give this a stir. So one of the key elements to draining pasta is to be careful how you drain it or you or in order to prevent yourself from being burned as well. So if you cook it in the steamer, pasta strainer just says this, you just wanna slowly lift it. And I, I like to let it drain a little bit just to, just to get, remove the excess water. So it's easier to just really add the pasta to, the, to your mixture. So next we're gonna add the pasta. and you just slowly drop it right back in. Kitchen safety is so important. So just make sure everybody's eating well but being safe at the same time. So we're gonna turn it low. Add a couple of tablespoons of butter. Get us a mix and we'll be ready to serve. So you can just turn the heat on low and once you add your butter and just allow the pasta just to really help incorporate, make it saucy, make it flavorful. The last thing least, we're gonna finish with fresh herbs. The fresh parsley we previously cut, just drop it in. And be ready to plate. Smelling fantastic. Smell the sage. Smell the aromas from the Italian sausage. Uh, the Parmesan cream is really effective in here. And we'll finish with some fresh Parmesan cheese.
Here, yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Orchiette pasta with Italian sausage and butternut squash. Enjoy. Mmm. 